guys, welcome back to my channel and another episode of DIY Saturday. Today we're making lemon essential oil bath bombs. I'm really excited to make this bath bomb. You will need Miracle Glow Oil, which you can find at SavvyNaturalisa.com. We are releasing new products this month that I am really excited about. Our 24 karat gold lip balm will be released this month. So I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. Thanks so much for supporting this web uh, channel as well as this website SavvyNaturalisa.com. I'm really excited. We're also going to use Aqua de Rosas, our rose water and our natural rose toner. So I'm really excited to use that you guys in our all natural lemon essential oil bath bombs. All the links down below to where you can purchase our, uh, not the bath bombs, but where you can purchase our skincare products will be down below as well as the links to where you can get everything you need to make this easy lemon essential oil bath bomb. So you guys, let's get started. So we're going to start off with a cup and a quarter cup of baking soda. So that will be our first ingredient is a cup and a quarter cup of baking soda. I don't know if I mentioned SLSA. That ingredient, however, is optional. You don't have to use it. You can use it if you like. And we're going to use a quarter cup of baking soda. Now you want to mix this all together. You just want to mix it to make sure all your clumps are out. And I have big, large clumps, so this may take me a while to take all these clumps out. I mean, just look at these clumps. It is so many. And this is just to ensure you have a pretty and beautiful bath bomb. You guys know I love a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bath bomb. So once you've mixed all the clumps out of your baking soda, you want to go ahead and add a uh, three-fourths cup of citric acid. However, I don't have a three-fourths cup, so I'm going to do a quarter cup three times. So that's it. Just do a quarter cup three times. You want to level it out just to make sure that it is in. And you just want to mix that in. But before we mix that in, we're going to add a quarter cup of kale and clay. You can use any kale and clay you like. Um, I love kale and clay. It adds a nice skin moisturizing to the body. And we're going to use two tablespoons of SLSA. This is optional. If you don't want to use the SLSA, you don't have to. This is an optional ingredient. This stuff is very potent, so if you want to use a mask with it, by all means, go ahead. I'm going to use two tablespoons of SLSA. And I will leave a link down below of where you can find SLSA as well as where you can get all the other ingredients I am using for this DIY. Many of you know I love hemp seed oil, so if you do not get you some hemp seed oil, boy! So once you've mixed all your dry ingredients, we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. And we're going to start off with adding a quarter cup of our oil blend. As I told you, I am using a hemp seed and castor oil blend. So we're going to start off with using a quarter cup of that. To this mixture, you want to add your Miracle Glow Oil, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil is a beautiful all-purpose oil that can be used on your skin, your hair, your nails and body, as well as make sure you guys take a look at my website. I am adding new products next year, so I'm really excited about adding more skincare products. And most of them will contain, contain 24 karat gold oil so you want to add 10 to 20 drops of your miracle glow oil which is all natural and has 24 karat gold in it and i am not stingy on my 24 karat gold and it is real gold now i forgot to add a, a colorant so we're going to use a yellow mica to make this lemony so this will be a yellow mica and what you want to do is just add just a little. You don't want to add a lot. And now we're going to add our essential oil. I'm using a lemon essential oil by the brand Aura Kaseya. I think that's how you say it. You know what, you guys? I am not, you know, with the grammar. Come on now. We all have different dialects. We all come from different states, planets. Let's not 
try to correct people. Let's not be the grammar police here, okay? If I said it wrong, I'm sorry. I really like this brand. And we're gonna add 30 drops of an all natural lemon essential oil to this. You may need a little more hemp seed oil, you guys, mixed with castor oil, but right now we're going to mix this in and I'm just gonna use my hands because right now we're about to get down and dirty and mix the oil in. So let's mix it in. Oh my gosh, this bath bomb smells so good already. So once your mixture is combined and you get this beautiful hue of yellow to your mixture, you want to set it aside. I got these bath bomb molds on Amazon.com and then I got some little tiny bath bomb molds on Amazon.com as well and we're going to use the mini ones as well. And I got two mega ones because they were like $12 for uh, four bath bomb uh containers well two to be exact two bath bomb molds but like four containers and it was kind of pricey but hey you know gotta do what you gotta do so um i'm gonna leave a link down below where you could get these they do work really well so what we're gonna do is add about a teaspoon of this salt that we're using we're gonna add a teaspoon we're gonna add a little toner, and I am using Aqua de Rosa's toner. We're gonna spritz it a little bit. Just spritz it, like so. Then after we spritz it, we're gonna add some of our Miracle Glow oil, and we're gonna add about five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops of Miracle Glow oil, and we're gonna mix this together. And you just want to mix it together until it becomes uh, kind of clumpy. Um, if you guys can see how clumpy it's getting. You can use your hands if you like. I'm not going to, but it's sort of... Uh, this is going to go on the top of the bath bomb. It's going to be like a lemony crystal, uh, crystallized lemon bath bombs. That's what I'm sort of going for. So I'm adding this on top. Now, if you want to use a larger grain of salt, that may work well as well, but I'm not going to. So that's what we have. I use two teaspoons of salt, but you can use a tablespoon. By all means, go ahead and use a tablespoon. So what we're going to do is take our mixture, the little mixture, and put it at the top. And then we're gonna use that and put it at the top. Probably a little more. The more clumpy you get it, the more it won't dissolve into your um, bath bomb mixture. So now that we have that, let's do these right here. Now we're gonna start pressing our bath bomb mold, bath bomb mixture into it. Now I am using my Aqua de Rosa's toner and the weather here in Arizona has been dry, so I'm gonna use more toner than most of you guys will use if you're in humid climate. However, it is winter time, so I'm under the assumption that everyone's climate is pretty humid, right? Except if you're on the west coast or northwest of the country. I was gonna say continent, Lord help me. The country, then you don't have to do this, you guys. So you wanna spritz it just to, um, spritz, spritz, spritz. So you wanna mix it in the Aqua de Rosas, which you can find at 70 naturalistacom It's a beautiful rose water. And the old picture may be up, but I definitely will be taking pictures of the new toner as soon as possible. So now that we have it in, you want to put it in your mold. Oh, there go a little clump. So we're just gonna put it in our mold like so and these are different than the other bath bomb molds i got i got the other ones at wholesale supplies wholesale supplies plus and i do not like their bath bomb molds i don't at all so we're gonna try i've tried these and i like them much better than those so you just essentially want to put them in make sure they're full and um i've never really been a good one for bath bomb molds but you know See, and if it gets a little clumpy, just add more to the top. I've never been one to be really good at this bath bomb mold thingy. 
<laughs> so just stuff it and cake it. That's the key to a good bath bomb, people say, stuff. Okay, so once you press it in, you want to see. I like to let the bottom out just to make sure. You see, it's still a little clumpy. Okay. Still feels like, it's like, okay, let's do a close up. So you see how I did this one, you guys? See that little ridge right there? I wanna move that, so I'm gonna smooth it out really, really well. So now you just wanna make sure you stuff your molds to the top, and once they're completely stuffed to the top, like so, then you wanna begin to press your mold, which I love, love, love to do. Press, press, press. Now you may wanna double this mixture because I don't use a lot when I do bath bombs. So if you're going to do this, you may wanna double the mixture. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the bath bombs and we'll be back to unmold them, you guys. Okay, so we're back and these are the beautiful bath bombs that I did make the lemon ones with pure lemon essential oils with the citric acid on top. And this is how this one look. I'm photographing it, so I dropped it a few times, but I wanted to show you guys how they look before I continue to photograph them. And this is how this one looks when you don't, when you try not to drop them. I swear you guys, I dropped them. But the good thing is they stayed hard even though I dropped them on the table like five times. So they're good bath bombs, but I dropped them. But you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you pick up Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. And I made two big ones and one small one right here, this beautiful one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in our next episode of DIY Saturday. Boy, you guys.